supply everybody. Well, in these troubled times, comfort food is certainly the best way to go and it just helps everybody to feel a lot better. So tonight I'm going to be making some home style burgers. So I'll just start by preparing my vegetables. And I have here some nice crispy lettuce. And I'm just going to cut this up into fairly fine shreds. And a nice ripe trussed tomato that I'll just cut up also into fine slices. And of course, with burgers, you've got to have beer. So later on in the show, I'll be doing a beer review. And I've got it on ice, cooling down to be nice and chilled. So I certainly look forward to that. And I have here some English Red Leicester cheese from Aldi. And I've never tried this cheese before, but it looks like it should be lovely on a burger. So I'm just going to cut off some nice thin slices. And it does have a wonderful orangey colour. And it should be ideal on my burgers. And actually I'll just cut a slice off and I'll have a taste of this. Oh, that's lovely. It tastes like a cross between Edom and cheddar. So I'll put all this aside into my fridge until I require it and I'll start crafting up my hamburgers. So I have here about two pounds or a bit over two pounds of ground beef and for those of you who don't eat beef you could always use ground pork or ground lamb and both will work beautifully in burgers. So I'm just going to split off about a pound of this ground beef. and separate it apart and adding a real good grind of black peppercorns
one teaspoon of dried onion powder one teaspoon of steak spice And about a third to a half a teaspoon of cooking salt and I think there's some salt in the steak spice so that's why I'm adding as little salt and I'll just separate this meat some more and mix it through and I'll get some latex gloves on and then I'll really need and mix this meat well And I like to use gloves because it is a bit of a messy job but also this ground meat's rather cold on the hands and a little bit of a barrier between the skin and the ground meat stops my hands from freezing so quickly so I'm just going to knead this and crush it through my hands for about five minutes until it all starts to come together and of course making sure that all the spices and seasonings are mixed really well through the meat So now after kneading the meat for five minutes I'm going to split it in half and form that half into a ball and forming this half into a ball and try and split it in half again try to get each ball of ground meat about equal And I'll set that aside and start heating up my cast iron pan to cook off these burgers. So on about a medium flame I'll put my cast iron pan on to heat up and then once it's at a good temperature area the blue I'll start frying off my burgers so the pan's now getting nice and hot and I can tell that by flicking a bit of water on my pan so now getting my burger patties and pressing them down really well I'm 
I'll place them into my pan to gently fry and they smell absolutely wonderful and with the leftover patty that's always good to freeze and to use another time so I'll let these fry away for five or so minutes and then I'll flip them over and these burgers are smelling absolutely divine So after five minutes drying on this side, they've come free of the pan, so they're ready to flip. And they smell absolutely delicious. So I'll let them fry for another five minutes and then when they're about done I'll put them into my warm oven just to rest for five minutes while I prepare the bread roll to make my burgers. So these have been frying away for a further five minutes. So I'm just going to flip them over more just to check how they're coming along. And giving them a press. I think they're about done. So I'll turn off my heat. And I'm just going to lay these slices of cheese across the top. So the cheese melts into the burger patty as my burgers are resting and I'll place these into my oven and it's about 90 degrees Celsius or 200 degrees Fahrenheit and I'll just put them into rest while I assemble my burgers. And plus the cheese will melt into these patties beautifully while they're resting in the hot oven. So I have here some nice fresh hamburger buns which I'm just going to split in half and you could toast these hamburger bread rolls if you so desire
but because they're nice fresh bread I won't bother with that today and I'll spread a little bit of sriracha hot sauce on the bottom of one some tomato ketchup on my second roll oops Ariella Blue Lagi making a racket and I'll leave this one plain as I'm going to send that to my friend next door who does like burgers plain and a good squirt of mayonnaise onto that top bun And grabbing my burgers, which the cheese has beautifully melted into. I'll place a burger down on each bun. And they're looking absolutely sensational. And smelling so divine. And folding over the plain one and I'll put that aside to run across to my friend and placing some tomato over the top of each burger Add freshly ground black pepper. A little sprinkle of salt because tomatoes love salt. Add a good sprinkle of this crispy lettuce over the top. And of course, I'm going to put some pickles over the top of this. as I love pickles on my burgers a good amount of these you just can't go wrong So now placing the tops on the burgers and pushing it down well.
I'll get ready for my taste test and my beer review. Oh my, this burger looks wonderful. So the beer I'm going to try tonight with my burger is Sapporo Premium Beer from Japan. It's 5% alcohol. And this is a really large can, well over a pint. And I had this beer recommended to me by Dale of NB88. And so I'll ask you all to please check out his channel. And I'll make sure that I put the link to his channel. And this beer looks wonderful. Oh, that's nice. A slight hoppy flavour. Very mild, very smooth. And a slight bitterness. So now to taste my burger. Oh, that's wonderful. And this beer just complements it perfectly. So I'm going to thank you all for watching and I'll ask you all if you're not subscribed please subscribe to my channel please thumbs up my videos as well as smashing that little alert bell so that you get notified of my new uploads God bless and until next time bye bye